Herzlich willkommen zum niegelnagelneuesten Special des Telestammtisch. Wir sind heute wieder ähm, mit zwei illustren Interviewpartnern am Start. Ähm, diesmal zwei Ladies aus Großbritannien und aus genau diesem Grund werden wir das Interview auch auf Englisch gestalten. Ich glaube, wir kriegen das ganz gut auf die Reihe, hier nicht zu viele detailverliebte Spezialwörter zu benutzen. Und bin mir sicher, dass ihr uns trotzdem gut folgen könnt. Wie immer gilt, wenn ihr uns folgen wollt, mit uns diskutieren wollt, kommt auf geekwisper.de im Geekbook vorbei und fragt nach. Ich werde auch die ganzen ja, Social Media Links von dem Projekt, das die Ladies heute vorstellen wollen, äh, auch noch in die Show Notes packen. Also ihr könnt uns gar nicht verfehlen. Yeah, here we are. This is our interview special for the so-called Telestammtisch. Hello out there for, um, to the um, maybe the English-speaking uh, listeners today, for the um, maybe the British audience today. Uh, we're a German podcast and this is our interview special. Today we are going to uh, talk with two ladies. My name is Andy. Who are you? Well, <laughs> I am Susie Corrath. I am the director of um, our short film called Silent Burden. And you are? I'm Judith Yeager, and I am the lead actress and the writer and the executive producer. It's a fancy name. <laughs> you tick all the boxes. <laughs> yeah. So lots of jo lots of jobs in one. It's a one man show. Um, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're today we're talking about Silent Burden. Mm -hmm. A project you made um it's already done isn't it it's, it's currently yes it's currently in post-production so it is being edited and we're getting the music school together um so it'll be another few weeks before it's a fully complete film but it's it's all filmed it's all almost there <laughs> <laughs> before we start with all the dirty details uh, maybe we just um first of all um talk about you um who are you who did you get to know each other what's your um your your vita maybe you can give us a short summary of your uh, artist life yet until now well so we um met at drama school we went to a place called the international school of screen acting in london um for a year and we met there and i susie have um Since then, I have a, a production company with another drama school graduate's friend called Skadoo Pictures, and we've been creating short films. And Judith, having written this short film, um, asked us to produce it. And we were very keen because it's such a brilliant script. Yeah, and then Susie offered to direct it as well. Yeah. Which was great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I would have had to do it. So, yeah. Did you already work together in other projects? At drama school, we have done. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's sort of, you know, classic drama school, so so little bits here and there. Um, I don't, we'd, never, we'd, we'd never created something together before. No, because we weren't in one class, so to speak. Yeah. Because we, we were two separate courses, even though we graduated together. And so there uh, were any, uh, I would say, interdisciplinary projects between different classes and there you get it, the chance to work together. Yeah, pretty much. So we had um, the school is, is very much like you work in your small group for lessons and then with our year uh, we were both in two different groups. So we'd, we'd be separate for quite a long time, but then also come together and do collaborative projects and things like that. Um, Oscar was quite good at, at ah, okay. reaching all things. Your studying is um, over right now, isn't it? Over, done. Over. Two It's years done, ago. Yeah. Two, two years, years ago. <laughs> so now we're now we're like hitting the ground running and really trying to create our own work, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty much. Getting rich no and famous. Will... Getting rich <laughs> and famous. Yeah, that's totally happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. So maybe we start to uh, talk about um, our, our project, Silent Burden. So ladies, um, what is it? What is Silent Burden? I'll give that question to well, Judith. Silent Burden is a short thriller drama. It's basically about a young woman who 
gets confronted by her past and then that confrontation somehow pushes her in a direction into a part of a world she she never really imagined being part of and then she's being forced to be in it in a way um so it's a, it's about um the relationship between two swiss sisters twins and what the the worlds one of the twins has got into and how that then affects the other twin uh -huh. so um can you can you categorize it is it, is it a thriller a drama or can, can you it's a thriller it's, it's a thriller okay. with a little bit of drama <laughs> with with some drama in, in between <laughs> um it's kind of a cross category but so it's this particular short film judith um wrote it as a it's a precursor to a feature film really yeah you could make it into a feature and i do have ideas for it mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah so 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 when you watch it it would sort of it ends on a sort of cliffhanger so it doesn't really have a, an ending ah okay so there could be a part two or something it could yeah. be the beginning of a almost life. almost like a trailer for a for a feature almost, film yes. um when you watch it so it doesn't give you any answers but it gives you so many questions and you're like what is going on ah <laughs> so who knows if people like the short who knows maybe in a few years there will be a feature you never know. <laughs> and you say it's, it's a short um uh, short film how many minutes are we talking about it will be about six to seven minutes six okay. to seven not 67 <laughs> <laughs> so under under 10 minutes <laughs> okay it's uh, six to seven minutes so it's a short film to pitch that to production companies and other interested parties i think we would have to have a proper concept or script for the feature film which we don't have at the moment that's down to you as the writer Judith. <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately um i mean i don't know what the film industry is like uh with you but with in the uk it's very much that if you have a short film it can it, it essentially can be used to give people an idea of your, your of your filmmaking voice and what kind of film you would be able to make or the sort of rough idea of a story. Um, so it can give people production companies um, an, an idea of, of what you could be able to produce in the future. So it's very much um, a good thing to be able to create a short film and make it really, really high value. Um, and hopefully enter into film festivals. And if we get it into a few good film festivals, then more people will see it and they see us as um, filmmakers, as directors, writers, so actors. Mm -hmm. um, so even though it's a, it's a very short thing, it can, it can be a good stepping stone. Okay. It can okay. be great. <laughs> so your purpose is, um to to uh, pitch this um, project and to, to maybe to get the chance to 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 grow it up and to uh, uh, to advertise yourself maybe um, yeah exactly okay because um, this is one of the things uh, we I want to talk uh, later on um, especially the film industry the British film industry and how it works is this um, typical for the British um, film industry that you uh, pitch short films to uh, get the chance to make a bigger project or is this uh, just your special situation? No, it's it's a it's a tried and tested um, route that people have. I mean, within the film industry, I mean, there are so many different routes you can take to making your work um, happen. But this is definitely one that happens quite a lot is that people make short films in the hope to be able to pitch it as a as a potential for a, a, a full length film or a TV show or something. So that's that's very much a, a, a done thing. Mm -hmm. Were there any screenings yet or is it just for for pr private screenings uh, until now? Um, what uh, is there any chance for me to to see this uh, film? Well, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. because you're still in post production. I we guess. are in post-production yeah. okay, so <laughs> that's where the next thing comes in so so basically it, um in 
a month or so, once we've got the film fully um, created, we will then be start start to apply to enter it into film festivals. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the next step. So film festivals, trying to get into a few, few film festivals will be our next next goal, um, which I will let you just take this on. Um, is is can be very expensive, which is why we've created the um, crowdfunding campaign, which I will let her talk about. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so we created that Indiegogo um, campaign, which is basically the main the main idea was to get the funding for the film festivals to submit it to as many film festivals as possible even though we can't do all of them and we we want to focus on the european market at the moment so it's mainly german festivals and british ones i think we have a few in switzerland as well but um some of them are for free, others are quite expensive. And the campaign is mainly for that, getting the film into these festivals. And then on top of that, not all of the crew have been paid for their work that they did on the short film. Um, so I would like to pay them, but obviously I can't because I'm a self-employed actor. <laughs> um, so we we are hoping to get some money to compensate the crew for their hard work. Um, and obviously we want to try to get a screening done as well, which is not cheap here in London. Um, so yeah, but if you, as long as we get the money in for the film festivals, that's I'm happy with that, but it's not easy. <laughs> and are you thinking about an online release or stuff like YouTube or any other um, portal like this? So that would come after some festivals because a lot of festivals, they don't like it to have prem- premiered before either online or public screening. Okay. Okay, um, we'll um, talk about the crowdfunding campaign in detail later on because I want to talk about the uh, different perks and the um, possibilities for um, future fans to support you. Maybe first let's talk about the um, different film festivals in detail. You um, said we're talking about the European market, especially the um, English and German speaking uh, countries, um, so Germany, Switzerland and uh, British UK. What? Festivals in detail are we talking about? Is there anything I know like Cannes or uh, any smaller ones? I know, for example, there's um, the Fantasy Film Festival here in Germany. What festivals are we talking about? Um, well, my main thing, even though it's a bit too high hopes, probably. Um, Don't my, say that. <laughs> my main thing Ain't is my. Berlinale. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, that's my main thing. I want to get it into that. But then we want to try to – hold on. What's, no, that's the right one. Um, Filmfest Dresden for Germany. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Berlin Independent Film Festival. The ARC Film Festival, if we can manage to do the deadline. <laughs> there are quite a few London ones that um, yeah. are really great to you know, you, things like the London Independent Film Festival and the London Short Film Festival um, and East End. They're all really great uh, platforms that um, would be fantastic to get into if we if we if we could. But they're obviously they're obviously very very competitive to get into. So the way we've done it, the way we've, we're looking at it is having different tiers. So mm-hmm. we have the, the main, the big ones, like the Berlinale um, and Rain Dance and ones like those, which we've handpicked a few specific ones that we want to enter because obviously they're very expensive and much harder to get into. And then, and then we're working through the sort of slightly lower tiers and then down to the ones that are much more um, independent and specialized. 
um, okay. like uh -huh. specific London ones that we want to go to and things like that. Um, Does that make sense? Maybe you can tell us something in general how to get into these festivals. I know there are um, fees to pay and I'm pretty sure there is a letter to fill. Um, uh, what uh, do you have to do to get Silent Burden to, into, um, for example, a film festival in London? Okay, work? well, so um, obviously make your film as great as it can be. And that, that really does it may mean the quality needs to be extremely high. The, the competition is extraordinary. People are creating the most amazing films with really, really high quality sound and you know production value. Um, so that's a really, really key point. Um, And then there are various online platforms that sort of collate all the film festivals together. So there's one called Film Freeway and Without a Box and all these things that um, have all the film festivals on them. And you you just make you, uh, a sort of festival package. So you have your poster and do a bit of information about you and a bit, a bit of information about the film. And then you pay the fee that they ask for, <laughs> um, which as we say, can range between sort of up to a hundred pounds and um, or hundred euros or dollars down to down to for free. So it's. But then there there are different deadlines as well. There you have the early bird deadline, then the I don't know what they call it, the, the late the deadline, yeah. deadline, and then the late deadline. And obviously, the later it gets, the more you pay. Okay. Yeah. And um, and if you if you um, if you're okay with the deadline and your project is um, absolutely fantastic and uh, you 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 pay every fee they need, um, is there uh, you definitely will get a screening on the festival or is there no. any possibility that you don't get it? So there's a high high possibility that you won't get it. This is why you have to be so so good and also really sensible about how which festivals you enter because that even if you 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 pay to enter and then that doesn't mean that you're going to be screened it then goes through a whole process and they because they have thousands of entries and they can only screen mm -hmm. you know a select few so they then they then go through all of the different films and pick the ones that they're going to screen and it's it's you know from our perspective it's very hard to tell what they're looking for you never really know what they're looking for or what what other filmmakers are making so you could it could be that your film's actually very similar to a different one you just never know so it's a it's a lottery game it's a lottery game mm -hmm. for sure yeah so um it's possible that you won't get your money back <laughs> okay yeah oh But yeah i mean that. with short films you 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 don't you, you get your money back in what it gives to your future career if that makes yeah. sense okay okay Doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, great. Um, so you talk, as you said, that there are um, a lot of projects. You uh, talked. Uh, you said that there are a thousand projects uh, and films um, that want to be part of that festival. So maybe um, we uh, talk about some technical stuff. And especially, um, I'm interested in. Uh, I don't. Oh, I, I hope I, I say it right. In cinematography. Uh, <laughs> So uh, working with cameras and with different um, lights and um, yeah, the the picture of the of the film. Did you get any help to create a beautiful film, or uh, do you already know everything you need to do such a great work? I mean, for us, it's very much a learning um, process as we go because we are early on in our careers, um, and especially as it's a it's a low to no budget film um you know all, all the people who are very very knowledgeable are expensive to hire mm -hmm. um so we had um for myself i'm as you know a first time director um but with a lot of acting experience and a lot of experience being on on set so i kind of understand what what directors sort of look for um And we had a brilliant uh, director of photography who I worked with um, to get the, the right feel. So I, as the director, I had an idea of what I wanted for each shot and how to make it happen and how to make it look as, as 
as good as possible. And then I worked with um, the director of photography to um, see if it's possible. Mm -hmm. um, and he was he was great. He's um, you know he uses a, a gimbal, which means that he, it's a very flexible camera movement, and he can sort of walk around and still have the camera steady. Um, doesn't look shaky. <laughs> doesn't look shaky so um so from that perspective we didn't have a, a cinematographer so to speak but um the director of photography was sort of taking on that role as well mm -hmm. um i'd say this film specifically had an added element of difficulty when it comes to the the cinematography in that judith is playing two <laughs> twins so essentially she's talking to herself for a lot of oh, it yeah. um <laughs> which which i mean makes for a very interesting um film when you're watching it um but you know added an, another element of difficulty to the to the filming <laughs> process so so your job is a, is a one-man show too <laughs> <laughs> pretty much um we did have one other character but um one other character yeah one other character yeah, one. Um, but that was definitely the, the sort of main scene is is <laughs> is Judith talking to Judith yeah. or Laura talking to Kat, <laughs> as the characters are called. But <laughs> yeah, and, and Judith, maybe you can uh, tell us something about the 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 um, the whole development process in general. Uh, when did you begin uh, to write Silent Burden, and how long did it take until now? Um, I think I. I think I started it last year, at the end of last year, so a bit more than a year ago. But then I left it for a while and came back to it. And then I asked a friend of mine who is also doing the music for, for the film. Um, I asked him if he would like to help me write it. So we wrote it together or finished it together. And when did I approach you? I think in, was it April, May? Um, it was May, I think. May, yeah. I approached um, Affy and Susie, so the production company, in May. And from there, it went pretty quick, actually, because we filmed in mm -hmm. July. Yeah. Um, because because Judith is so um, involved, as in it's mainly just Judith, in, in the film, um, it was relatively easy to to put it to pull put it pull it all together. So it was a pretty quick. Yeah, and it took okay. half, it's two days of filming. Two days of filming. Uh huh. And since then, it's been in post production because the the DOP he he obviously has a main job. He did it out of passion for us, so he didn't get paid like most of us. Um, so obviously his main job, where he gets money from, um, that's what comes first. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. that's yeah, okay. why it I took see. the I see it's it's cheaper just to choose uh, just to do it on two days. Um, so can, can you give us any number of scenes and any uh, a number of um, places we can see in the in the film? Because um, I think uh, the more places and the more scenes you've got, the more expensive a project like this could become. Yes, definitely. We have um, three different locations that we've used. Um, so we have one house that um, is is the the main character's house um, and we, we filmed for a whole day there and then for the second day we filmed in a different location, a different house for a different um, person's house mm -hmm. basically, different character's house and then we had a little outside bit um, but we were really lucky we kept, we were, were able to use our friends and family's apartments in London so luckily we didn't have to pay any location costs because that is what can get get expensive you are entirely right oh, so I then, imagine the locations in london are expensive in general yeah <laughs> especially yeah. filming locations <laughs> yeah uh okay great thank you maybe now we should start to talk about your actual uh, crowdfunding campaign you already dropped and the social okay. media campaign that belongs to it um you like you um already told us there is an, a campaign on indiegogo 
Maybe you can explain to us what uh, you're doing there, how much um, money we're talking about you need, and what the, uh, how the first reaction from the audience is. Uh, so basically, like I mentioned earlier, there are three main points we are collecting that money for. Mm -hmm. First one is the main one, which is the film festivals where we want to submit it to, and that would be about 800 pounds that we need to get into all these film festivals that we have selected. Um, then it's um, to pay all the crew, which obviously would be flexible in a way. Um, and the third point is we want to do a screening, a private screening, so that we can see it, the friends and family can see it. Um, and that would all amount together to about two thousand mm pounds. -hmm. Um, yeah, the the first reaction that we got was um, people have shared it on Twitter and Facebook, but not that many have given us something. So at the moment, it's only two mm -hmm. two people have donated generously. Uh, when did the campaign start? When did it start? About a week ago? Was it a week or two? I think it was about two weeks ago. The end of August. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty fresh and... Uh, yeah. and it, um... it runs till, till the 2nd of... 1st of October, something like that. Okay. So we're talking about the whole September uh, in general. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, why did you choose this? I would say short period, isn't it? Uh, can you can you can you extend the um, a funding period? Um, well, this particular crowdfunding is um, I don't know what they call it, but it's a flexible one, so mm -hmm. it does stay open at the end. Um, okay. But I, I'm not actually sure for how long. I guess until we say it's done now. I mean, the reality is that um, at the end of the month, that's when we need to start applying to these festivals. So, mm -hmm. so that's when we need the money, okay. basically. Okay, I get it. Not everything together, but um, most, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes, I can see. So um, maybe let's talk about some of the perks here on the um, crowdfunding campaign uh, we can see. Uh, as, as in a lot of um, uh, campaigns like that, we have got different steps, um, different perks, so-called perks, and yeah, a different amount of money you can, you can give uh, to the creative artist, uh, in this case, uh, give it to you, and to, to get something back, maybe you can tell us um, what perks we could expect. Yeah, it starts as low as five quid, which basically gives you a thank you, <laughs> mm -hmm. a thank you from all of us. Um, and then it goes down to um, up to 10, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. 10, which gives you a shout out on social media, which is in our case, Facebook and Twitter. Um, so we do have a Twitter page or account specifically for the film. We don't have that on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, on Facebook, it's mainly through my Facebook page, my personal one, like not personal, but my acting mm -hmm. yeah. Facebook page and through the Skadoo Pictures page, the production company. Um, so then we have the £25, which gives you a thank you um, in the credits at the end of the film when all the names roll. Mm -hmm. um, there will be a section saying thank you to, and then all of these people would get their names there. And obviously on social media, basically all of it is going to be a thank you on social media and then on top of an, a 
another thing depending on what perk you're purchasing. Um, then it jumps up to 25 uh, to 75, which could give you a poster in the size of a three, which is basically that poster you can see at the beginning of the page. Um, and the thank you credit. And then it goes even higher, <laughs> <laughs> up to 150 pounds, which allows you to get the music score, the thank you credit, and social media shout out. And then the 250, which is a very special one, because if you want to get into the film industry, you have to have, um, you have to get experience in whatever you want to get into. Mm -hmm. So for 250 quid, we are offering a work experience with Skadoo Pictures. Oh, okay. Maybe Susie can say something about what. Yeah, so that would be um, being able to come on set for a day for our um, our next film or for which it were one of our future films. Just it gives you a, a, a a person who wants to get into the film industry a bit of a chance to see what life on a film set is like. To be on a set, to see how everyone works together and stuff like that. And the biggest of them all is 500 quid, which gives you the name of executive producer. Basically, an executive producer is the one who gives money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like you are. <laughs> like me, yeah. So I, I'm basically the one who funded it so far. <laughs> okay. And you can come to the private screening. Yeah. With the 500. I think the it's screening will be in, in, in London? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sounds great. Sounds interesting. Um, and uh, I wish good luck. I wish most good luck I could wish. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, and I'm very looking forward for this project and the, and the whole film. And I hope there are um, a lot of people will get to know, um, especially this crowdfunding campaign, to give you a good start um, into this project. There are some uh, short questions left. Mm -hmm. First of all, you talked about the music score um, we can get if we um, pay about 150 bucks. Who made the music score? Uh, what, who's the companist and, and the creator? That's um, my co-writer. Mm -hmm. um, his name is Alex Liberatore, and he his main job is as a composer. So he made the original score for the film. I haven't heard it personally, mm -hmm. but I yeah. have, and it is amazing. It's really there good. Go. <laughs> and it will be part of the project, and maybe uh, we can hear parts of it later. So I think we're done with the um, Project Silent Burden right here uh, with our talk about your Project Silent Burden right now. My last questions are um, especially uh, things about you. So because our audience wants to know who's, uh, who the interview partners are, and that's why I'm usually asking questions like, what is the last film you saw? And do you have any recommendations for us? <laughs> Film-wise. Yeah, yeah. film-wise, and um, if you if you got any uh, com if you read any comic books, that would be a recommendation possibility possibility too. Ah, <laughs> well, the last film I saw was in the cinema was a film called Final Portrait, which is um, um, directed, written and directed by Stanley Tucci, yeah. and I thought that was absolutely fantastic. I'd highly re recommend it. Uh, it's a bit more of a genre film. It's uh, about Giacometti, the artist. It's fantastic. Go and see it. <laughs> Will do. Now, what about you, Judith? Um, the last film I I saw in the cinema, I don't really know because I don't really go to the cinema. I can't afford it here in London. Mm -hmm. um, but um, one that I've seen in the cinema and that brings to my mind is a film called Zen Dog, which won the um, film of the festival last year at Rain Dance which is an amazing film. I don't think it's anywhere online yet, but have a look 
out for it. Um, the director and writer is Rick Dodge, so have a look for that. It's an amazing film. Oh yeah, will do. Thank you very much. And I really thank you for your time. I really thank you for all the energy uh, and blood, sweat and hard work you put <laughs> into um, Silent Burden. Maybe you can, uh, last question, you can uh, tell us about something, something about your upcoming projects and where we can find you online. Ah, upcoming projects are secret. We can't tell you about those. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. Um, online, you can find us on Twitter, but well, both of our own personal accounts. Um, and uh, there's a Silent Burden, dedic specially dedicated Twitter account, and also a Skadoo Pictures Twitter account. Those are probably the best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then personally, I'm on Facebook, like I said, I'm on Instagram. And I even have a website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. Websites are cool. <laughs> I'll post all the, um, <laughs> you'll see all the links in the show notes. Um, you can't miss them. Um, ladies, thank you very much for your time. Thank uh, you very much for, for inviting us to talk to you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, it was a nice talk and good, good, good luck. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. See you. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>